I would like to thank the viewers for choosing my particular video uh, lecture on fluid flow. Uh, in this particular video, we are going to uh, see a complete lecture on uh, what, what is fluid flow and how it is being identified as a steady flow and an unsteady flow and how it is being classified as laminar and uh, turbulent flow. Uh, before going into the actual fluid flow practices, we will understand what are the different methods in uh, fluid flow. Uh, there are two basic uh, methods which is being uh, considered. One is the Eulerian method and other one is Lagrangian method. The Eulerian method talks about velocity at a particular point. Here the fluid particles are not taken into consideration and uh, we consider the velocity of a fluid at a particular point. We are not bothered about the velocity particle. Whereas in the Lagrangian method, it talks about velocity of a particular fluid particle. Like for a flowing stream, what happens at time at, at, at question 1? What is the velocity at question 2? So that is of a fluid particle at question. So this is our Lagrangian method. When, when, when we are trying to talk about fluid particle, we are more bothered about Eulerian method instead of Lagrangian method. So we are going to follow this particular principle that is velocity at a particular point for a fluid. Okay. So here before going into the actual uh, stream, we have to understand some few parameters. The first parameter being streamline, second is timeline and third is path line and next is straight line. So first we will see what is streamline. So in order to understand streamline, I am going to take a, a simple uh, uh, fluid velocity profile and I am going to demonstrate you uh, for a steady flow, 2D steady flow. So let us see, uh, understand what is a 2D uh, steady flow uh, and what is the equation R. So this is a velocity equation which gives x into i vector minus y into j vector. Let us understand, I will explain you why this y comes by this example. In this particular example, we will see, so let us assume uh, a, a velocity profile and plotting a velocity profile for a time period. for a time period of 0 and I am trying to plot the, the fluid flow particles in x and y component. So this is one example. Okay. So here what happens is the flow happens in the minus y direction towards origin and then it starts moving in the x direction and slowly the velocity increases. By this graph we will understand how whether the velocity is increasing or decreasing. Say before go, uh, in this particular concept if you see the velocity flow, the flow is happening only in the x direction not in the y direction. Okay. Uh, say uh, for example if I, if I plot a tangent for these for these flow for this particular flow say I have a tangent like this. I assume this is my tangent line for my profile 1 and I assume the second tangent line for my flow 2. Here when you, when you notice this velocity profile, uh, the tangent of the velocity profile is called the, the streamline. It is called the streamline and you can find out this velocity is moving is increasing in the x order and it is not moving in it is not increasing in the y order it means that y is an increase of time fine and x is the actual velocity that is taken in the density. so this particular equation now becomes x into t into i minus y into j so here the time component comes into place so this is our uh, now now we will understand what is our streamline and uh, how the velocity profile behaves. Now, if you could, when you are trying to find the velocity component, the value of these, let us for example take this particular first profile and extrapolate the values of x and y. Say I assume x is 0.9 and y is 0.9. x is 0.9 and y is 0.9 of j. Okay. Now, to identify the actual velocity, so velocity is given by square root of x square plus y square, this is nothing but 
finite square plus finite square which is nothing but finite. Similarly, I'm trying to find out, say, say now we have found out what is the value of x, sorry the velocity in uh, in the point that is 0.9, 0.9. Now, now in order to find the velocity profile whether it is accelerating or decelerating, I'm taking a second point whose value is x3 and y is 0.275 that is x3 and 0.275 on the particular streamline. So when we find out the value of v it is 3.0125. When you compare this v1 to v2 it is very very much evident that the velocity is increased. Okay, But that, there is an interesting factor that we have to observe here. Though the velocity is increasing the streamline of velocity profile 1 and the streamline of velocity profile 2 does not interlink or it does not merge one over the other. That means even if the velocity is increased, the steady flow remains as steady flow. Okay. Now let's see the velocity profile. and streamline profile for time of 1 second and time of 2 second. Here I have specifically taken an unsteady flow in order to demonstrate a, a steady flow and unsteady flow and the streamline difference between either of these. If you observe at t is equal to 1 second, the velocity profile that is a white color line is moving towards origin and the streamline of that particular that is the tangent of this velocity profile again moves towards origin. But uh, when you combine the look into the all different velocity profiles and all the different uh, streamlines, corresponding streamlines, it is observed that it is cornering to a, a point that is it is merging to one another that is it is becoming an unsteady flow. Similarly, when I take 2 seconds, you can find the velocity profile which again moves towards the origin and the velocity and the tangential profile that is a streamline profile again moves and converges towards origin. So, it is very well demonstrating as that it is an unsteady flow and by means of stream, streamline we can identify whether the flow is steady or unsteady. I hope now you understood what is uh, steady flow and unsteady flow by means of a simple demonstration using streamline. Okay. So now we will move to the other topic called as time lag. Second topic that defines a fluid flow called as time lag. Here again I am trying to draw a velocity profile. Okay. So in order to clearly uh, imagine this let us assume we are introducing a, a bubble. Let us assume this is my water tank and I am introducing a bubble at the bottom most surface okay? and the time I, ass I assume I release a bubble at the bottom most tank and I assume the fluid is in a uh, static condition that is there is no, no flow happening. Now when I release a bubble from this point that is at time 0.5 second the bubble vertically moves up. So now imagine a condition, I am insert, in, inserting the same bubble at the same time but the fluid flow is happening. So what happens here, my bubble which is at this point because of the fluid flow it moves at this point because of the velocity, because of the fluid flow velocity. Now when you, when you plot, you will see a curve that is nothing but the velocity profile okay so this we get something called a timeline okay so i hope now you understood what is a timeline for a fluid that happens steady in a steady state okay now go to the going to the other topic called path line and i will use another simple demonstration here I am considering a fluid particle. Okay. So, for example, I, I 
assume the fluid starts at the fluid particle that is this I consider has been started moving from this point say t is equal to 0 second and at t is equal to 1 second the particle has moved from this point to this point and the curve or the path that it has followed to move from t is equal to 0 to the destination called t is equal to 1 when you plot that curve we get something called path line okay so now let's understand path line behavior for a steady flow and unsteady flow now assume i am taking the same example that is i am assuming particle 1 has moved to a location 1 dash okay at 1 second now i assume or introduce an another particle 2 at the same point and at the same time and i observe that particle particle's behavior at the second location that is 2 dash and it is very interesting interest, interesting to see that it follows the same path fine so and when you plot and the final distillation of 1 dash and 2 dash when you join that is called the streak line coincide one over the other that is nothing but the path line of the first particle and the path line of the second particle superimpose one another for something called a steady flow got it hope you understood this now let's observe the same behavior that is fluid particle let's take uh, the same example and demonstrate for an unsteady flow I, I assume particle 1 I introduce at time t is equal to 1 t is equal to 0 second and, and I observe at t is equal to 1 second its position say this is 1 and this is 1 dash and I observe my path line is this now I introduce an another particle that is 2 exactly at the same position at time t is equal to 0 second and, and I observe its final destination at time is equal to t 1 second that it has slightly deviated in its path that is it has moved into a new location that is 0 dash and my new path line is this not to be more precise I introduce an another particle 3 exactly at the same point at t is equal to 0 second and I observe its destination at t is equal to 1 second and I see that it again has deviated from its original path and it has moved onto new path that is 0 to 3 dash. Now uh, in, in the steady flow what we observe is the final destination of the particle 1 that is 1 dash and the final destination of the 2 dash is superimposing one over the other that is the path line of the fluid particle 1 and the path line of fluid particle 2 superimpose one over the other that is what we saw using steady flow now we have observed in the unsteady flow that the path does not follow the same route that is after time is equal to t is equal to 1 second the path or the particle have gone into a new location that is 1 dash 2 dash and 3 dash now when you combine all these three we get a line that is called as streak line. Okay, this becomes path line for 3, this, this becomes path line for 2, and this is the path line for 1. And when you, when you plot the, the end points of 1 dash, 2 dash, and 3 dash, we get a curve that is nothing but our streak line. So, the, for an unsteady flow, the particle have different path lines ok so uh, in, in the three four concepts what we have studied that is the streamline that is a, the tangent of the velocity profile and time line is the actual flow uh, the velocity component and the path line the actual fluid particles displacement from with respect to time and the streak line the final positions are for an unsteady flow so having uh, gone through all these four we would have understood what is a steady flow and unsteady flow. To a, a slightly uh, different topic that is more related to steady and unsteady that is laminar and turbulent flow. Laminar and turbulent flow. 
these two flow are characterized by a number called Reynolds number. That is Re, which is given by which is expressed by velocity v component into the diameter of that particular flow particle and okay. the diameter of the uh, fluid uh, pipe through which the flow happens into kinematic viscosity nu. When you see this particular expression, the Reynolds number is direct related to the velocity. Now we would have also seen that the steady flow happens, the velocity also increases. Okay. So now the Reynolds so having derived the value of Reynolds number by substituting the velocity component and the diameter of the, the fluid flow and the kinematic viscosity, we get some uh, numerical values and Based on that particular numerical value, we can classify something called as laminar and turbulent flow by means of a number. That is, Reynolds number, if it is less than 2000, it is called laminar flow. If the Reynolds number is greater than 4000, it is called turbulent flow. So, having done this, we would have got something in your mind. What if the value is between 2000 and 4000? What if it is 3000? So, that flow is called as a transient flow. Okay. Here, what happens is a transient flow. The flow happens or it, it migrates or it, it, the flow is migrating from laminar to turbulent. That is, okay, friends, now today we have understood through this uh, lecture video uh, what is steady flow, what is a unsteady flow, what are the parameters in a steady flow and unsteady flow, and how do you categorize a laminar and turbulent flow. Having understood this, I have developed a particular model for demonstrating it so that we clearly understand and see visually what is a laminar flow and turbulent flow. Thank you. So, is that what a land up? Are they slow? Are they set up? Get them, get them. Turbulence is clear. Where are they? Okay. Are they set up? You can see the quarter turn. You can see the same thing. The die is the flow. You can see the same thing. You can see the same thing. You can see the same thing. So, on the discharge, we have laminar flow, turbulent flow, it will come. Full of flow. 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 Super. Thank you, Samuel. Samuel. Thank you, Samuel. Clear. 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 Angga, angga, ada pas tu benar. Edis, edis sendiri kreator barang kita. Atau anda turbulence sendiri efek barat. Bicara jasi benar, kita turbulence sendiri jasi barat. So fluid sendiri pati na pula. Fluid sendiri kita dari. Yeah. Mm -hmm.